you know, to have a, a middle distance race on home soil, it was a no-brainer um, for all the pros to race. And the Outlaw have got such a great reputation of putting on great races. And I think the cherry on the cake for everyone is that the, the PTO came to the table with, with some prize money. And, um, you know, they, they put their money where their mouth was. And the fact they're supporting the pros in such a difficult time, it really feels like kind of like they've got our backs. I think the fact that PTO have backed Outlaw X has obviously attracted a much better field than we would have had otherwise. And it's really great to see that, you know, I can come and race somewhere that's just over an hour away from where I live and be up against all the best UK females. It's parallel to what the British ranking is at the moment across the world. We've got athletes, I think there's three, four, five, six, seven of us racing and I think we've got a good handful of those in the top sort of 15, 20 in the world ranked at the moment. I absolutely love racing alongside age group athletes and they love the professionals coming, coming to the field they're racing at and they love racing alongside professional athletes. This is my first race as a professional because I've just came up to school. So yeah, it's going to be good fun racing some of the guys who have you know, idolised for a while. So having the uh, six second gaps between uh, guys jumping off the pontoon, it basically means like the, the swim start isn't as quite as frantic as normal. The fact that the swim is going to be so cold, I'm really, really dreading, but I know that everyone else is as well. On the run, you've got to think, I'm not actually running with this person. I'm 6, 12 seconds behind them. It's going to be a close race, it's going to be a hard race. They're always the races that, that really motivate you to really get the best out of yourself. There's no point being a pro and prancing around if you're not willing to step up to the plate and test yourself against the best in the world and I definitely believe I am. And I'm glad Al's not here. <laughs> but I didn't say that. I'm looking forward to a tough Battle of the Brits. There's an absolute stellar lineup, so I'll have to be absolutely on my best ball game tomorrow to even get on the podium. Yeah, there's plenty of other good names here that um, that will make it hard. The female field is impressive. You know, when I'm on the start line, I love to believe I'm in the battle, I'm in the fight for a podium. I'm not just coming into it totally unknown, and I definitely believe I am. I mean, I race to, you know, to win. Open your eyes. What can you see around? Wind of the open sky Over the siren sounds This is a dream Getting the royal scar Holding a diamond blade Throwing it far Holding your breath still You jump the fire We'll just sit and wait Everyone was working really hard on the bike. Um, obviously, with the staggered start, it wasn't really. I wasn't really sure what the time differences were in T1, um, but knew I had to work really hard for the first bit of the bike to try and see Fenella in front of me. Absolutely fantastic course, absolutely brutal that run. I kind of had no idea that it was. It was like kind of no flow. The rhythm was chopped and changed because there's grass, and you're going on stone, then you're going onto trails, um, and then there's stonking headwinds, and there was like really ice cold chill to stay for the whole day. The swim was really cold. Um, take your breath away. Uh, I couldn't quite catch my breath. It just felt like a headwind the whole day. But yeah, I, I held in there, I kept going. I found a bit of running form towards the end and just kept pushing. We missed racing, you know, I've missed those head-to-head -head battles. And to be so close with him today, you know, that, that's, that's, what, that's what we race for. And you know, it made it a great day. I'm just so happy to race. I mean, don't get me wrong, I really wanted to get on the podium. So third, I think I missed second by a couple of seconds, but um, you know, Tom and George, they're definitely uh, ones for the future, um, as well as the present. So yeah, and I'm so chuffed I can, you know, I'm in my 40s and I can still mix it up with the boys. Yeah, just, just go through that race and do the proper sort of points really.
Um, obviously, unfortunately, the swim was a little bit short today. Um, I don't know, I wasn't too bothered about that. It suits me a little bit. Um, it was definitely sort of an actual race, which you don't get in um, local events normally. It's normally sort of regional champion, and that was down to the PTO, obviously, um, to get a real sort of professional race feel to the, today. And then, yeah, the run, I was confident that coming off the bike that I knew that I could, I could take the win.